So uh, this time around, I'm going to show you how to splice clips into other clips, show you a couple of different ways to do that. So as opposed to stacking the clips on top of each other, splicing them in so that they are on the same track. I'm also going to show you how to insert your titles, including a layered PSD file. So uh, anyway, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Okay. All right. So have a couple of tracks in here already. This music track down here is currently muted and locked, so that can't be affected. And then this right here is very simply just a silent clip, no sound in this one, and then the light just moves through it. And so when the light moves through it and gets at its most intense, we're going to create visual magic, if you will we are going to put a clown nose onto him and then remove it. It will be comical yet spectacular. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the home button and uh, over here are the clips we're going to be needing, um, including the uh, end titles, which I've already imported, but I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing I wanna do is make sure that the mannequin clown nose is showing up here in the uh, source window. And yes, the coloring is different. I'll show you why that is and how to remedy that in this clip in a minute. But for right now, I just want to see where my in and out points are. And so my in point should be at 417 and my out point should be at 727, which it is. And so where I want to insert this in the timeline, I've indicated with these markers down here. So if you see up at the top, these little green, I don't even know what kind of a shape to call that. We'll just call it guitar pick shape ish. Um, mark the points where I want to insert three of those clips. And so to insert your own marker, by the way, you can just put your timeline wherever you want it and then just simply hit the M key or you can click on this little button right here and that will add a marker uh, to your timeline. And that's just a way for you to go, okay, I want to do something here and then you can come back to it and find exactly the spot you're looking for. So I'm going to undo that because I don't need that one. And I can move the playhead to that marker just by clicking on it. So, very convenient. Very. Okay, so I have my playhead in position. I have my clip up in the source window. And then there are two ways that I can insert this into that track. I can do it with buttons down here. So one way is insert, the other way is overwrite. I can also use the comma and period keys. So let me just show you the difference between these two. So this is insert, and pay attention to what happens to this track right here once I insert the new track. Ah! So did you notice how this track moved over? Yeah. That's because when you insert something, it cuts the existing track at the point where you have the playhead and then pushes it over to make room for this new clip to go into. So in other words, you haven't cut anything out, you've just added content in between two specific points. In this case, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to undo this. What I would like to do is to have it behave as if it were sitting just on top. So it will overwrite the existing content. So anyway, go back here. This time I can press this button for overwrite and you'll notice that the track did not move at all. So what used to be the original mannequin here, that is now gone between those two points and it's been replaced with Mr. Clown Nose. So again, we'll come back and deal with that color difference in just a minute. So let's go ahead and do that again. So I'm gonna click on this marker right here and the timing for this is pretty much the same, I think like three frames less. Uh, just so it lines up just so. So I'm going to establish a new out point and then I am going to insert uh, by overriding and this time I'm going to hit the period key that's inserted and then to my third marker uh, this time the clip needs to be a little bit longer. The out point on this is going to be at nine seconds and four frames. Beautiful. 
and uh, then I will go ahead and insert this. Okay, so we've got all of our clips in, but uh, I'm sure this color change is bothering you as much as it's bothering me. So let me show you something oh so groovy. Whatever. If I click on the clip for this with the coloring I want, now the way I have gotten that coloring is by going in and adding some effects for color balance and brightness and contrast. Because uh, I really wanted this to have a warmer tone and what I got out of the camera, as you can see, is very kind of blue. And so if I right click on the clip where I like the color that I've added, I can just go up here to copy. And then if I simply right click on the clip where I want those color changes applied, then I can choose paste attributes. Okay, that's really key, paste attributes. And then I can choose what attributes I would like to paste. And I had a crop in there too, but I don't want that. So all that is good. Nice. Click OK. And now that color cast has been applied to that. So I can actually do this to multiple clips at one time. If I hold the Shift key and then right click and say Paste Attributes. Click OK. And now each one of these clips should match this clip here. So anyway, let's give this a quick play and you can see what we've built here. And you'll notice I've brought the sound in for the clown nose clips and you can hear the difference. Now when the music plays, you won't really be able to hear it. It's pretty subtle, but I actually liked that difference just to kind of emphasize the weirdness of that clown nose appearing. Okay, so that's good. So that's how you can insert. You can insert it either as a straight insert where it pushes everything over, or you can do it as an overwrite where it replaces the content in that specific area. So let's get some titles in here. So we are going to use the insert to get our beginning titles in, and actually our end titles too. I'm going to hit the home key. And then over here is my title clip. So let me double click that to get that in the source window. And I've already got a very specific little portion of this all set to go with my in and my out points. So it's about four seconds and 21 frames. I'm good. I know I'm very precise, but you know me by now. Nerd. All right. So playhead at zero. My clip is active in the source window with my in and out points. I just want to insert it. So I do want to push everything over this time. So I'm going to hit the comma key. And note that my music is locked. So that will stay in place, which is what I want. And so there we go. So here is my introductory title clip. Here is my music. And then it goes right into this. So now I just want to do the end titles. And the end titles I did in a more traditional title manner. I like to do my titles in either Illustrator or Photoshop, and, and actually usually both. So what I did was I have just three end credit titles for uh, director, writer, and titles. And I did each one of those on different layers in Illustrator. And then I exported from Illustrator um, as a PSD file. So it's quite easy to do. You just go to the file menu, turn, pull down to export to, and then choose PSD from the menu. And then you can specify exactly what you want to save. Then you can just open that up directly in Photoshop. It is just a regular Photoshop file at that point. And so the reason I make it a Photoshop file is that you can't import layered Illustrator files, but you can import layered Photoshop files. And so I've already got it in here, but let me show you how to do that. You just double click in the project window per usual, and then you navigate and you find the file you want. So that is this guy right here. And then I'm just going to click import. And then you probably recognize this window from in class. Uh, but this time I don't want to merge all the layers together. I want them to come in as separate layers. So I'm going to drop this menu, choose individual layers. I don't want the background because the background layer is just black. 
and that's what uh, Premiere gives you by default. But here is the directed by, written by, titles by. Those are the three different layers I want. And if I just click OK, it will bring that in just as you see it here in a folder with all three of those different titles. So I already have one in here, so I'm just going to delete that. And let me spin open this one because I've already set the in and out points for these. So I'm going to double click on the directed by. And I've, I've set the duration for each one of these to three seconds, so I can just quickly insert them. And that's the key. That's what we're going to do. The playhead is at the end, right where I want to put this. I am going to hit the comma key. Then I'm going to double click on the written by and hit the comma key again and double click on the titles by and hit the comma key one more time. So now those have all been added to uh, the end of the timeline there. And uh, let me show all. And I think we might be just about ready for a preview here. So let me unlock this, unmute this. And uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my music stay cut off um, at the end of the scene and the titles will go silent. Great impact silence has, you know. Yes, dear. Okay, home key and uh, Let's crank this baby up. We're living the dream. And play. I don't think I need to say any more than that. <laughs>